welcome to the Introduction Guide to Activity-Based Funding and STARS. What is ABF? ABF is a way of funding hospitals so they get paid for the number of patients they treat. The funding is adjusted for each patient based on admission diagnosis, clinical complexity, comorbidities, and the amount of care they require in hospital. That sounds complicated. How do you figure that out? Well, let me give you an example. Let's say that a patient is brought to hospital with a certain diagnosis. During that stay in hospital, he might need certain tests, receive different types of treatment, need an operation or procedure, need added care like ventilation or monitoring, or he might develop an infection while in hospital. All of these things add to the complexity of the admission. But imagine somebody else came in with the same problem, but their stay was less complicated. How do we compare the two? The answer is activity-based funding. But where does all that data come from? When teams see a patient on ward round, are seen by after-hours juniors, or seen by other teams as consults, all this information is collected into the medical notes. And once a patient is discharged, the patient notes are sent to the medical record department for clinical coding, which allows all their diagnoses, procedures, comorbidities, and any other complications to be captured. Once processed, we're given a Diagnosis Related Group, or DRG, and a coding sheet is created for that patient's admission. That coding sheet is attached to the electronic medical record, and by combining the data from all available medical records, we can collate all the DRG data together. Wow, that's a lot of data. What is it used for? Well, if we combine all the patients who are seen in hospitals with the same diagnosis and look at the data closely, we might find ways to improve their care, such as ways to reduce infection, if some procedures have better outcomes, or if we could reduce the patient's length of stay, if there are unexpected deaths, or if we even could have prevented the admission completely. But the data can't tell you that on its own. That's right. We need a comparator to compare our hospital's figures with those of our peers. So that's why hospitals, big and small, all over the state are collecting their own patient information. This data gets pulled together, and we can look at this to compare our hospital with the state average. Fantastic! Think of all the great things I can do with this data. Not so fast there. You need some way of collating and interrogating that data in a meaningful way. And that's why the Sydney Local Health District has developed such a system, and it's called STARS the Sydney Local Health District Targeted Activity Reporting System. Looks interesting. What can I use it for? Well, firstly, you can look at your own statistics, look at all your patients, grouped by diagnosis, and compare them against key indices such as average length of stay, readmissions, national weighted activity units, and so on. Alternatively, you can look at just one patient and see what diagnoses, comorbidities and complexities they were coded for. You can also compare your department or hospital with either the whole district or other similar hospitals. You can compare similar diagnoses or you can compare similar teams. This might help identify areas to increase efficiency, prioritise spending or target certain patient groups. The data is all there at your fingertips. Amazing! I've wanted this for years. Sign me up! Great, we'll send you the paperwork. Currently, we have a limited amount of licenses available for use, and they are being offered to all heads of department, as well as a clinical champion within each department, and access all the data we have at hand. I want to be a star too. Contact your local STARS representative today.